Hello everyone, I am Sanjay Gupta. I welcome you on Sanjay Gupta Tech School. So in previous video, you saw like how we can apply CSS in Lightning Web Component. Now in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can implement SLDS styling hooks. So basically SLDS stands for Salesforce Lightning Design System. So if you want to uh, customize your SLDS component styling and you want to express your brand, so you can just uh, apply some hooks. So basically to customize an SLDS style, declare a corresponding custom property in the components style sheet, right? So whatever changes you want to do in the uh, standard, like whatever element you are using. So for example, if you are using lightning badge, so you want to apply some different CSS as per the uh, brand of the client. So what you can do, you can just define that CSS in the uh, CSS file of that Lightning Web component. So in this video, you will uh, get to know like how we can implement that. So jumping to Visual Studio Code, I'm going to create a new Lightning Web component. So this Lightning Web component will let you know how we can customize branding of the components, base component, like lightning button, lightning badge, and so on. So I am going to right click on LWC folder and creating lightning web component. So this component's name will be, sorry. So I created a lightning web component named as using styling hooks. So it is having HTML, JavaScript and XML file. So first I'm going to implement the HTML file, right? So here, I'm using lightning card and its title will be using SLDS styling hooks for base lightning components. So I'm closing it here. Now inside this lightning card, I'm going to create a div and I'm applying a predefined class that, that is SLDS hyphen M hyphen around underscore medium. Right, so this is predefined SLDS class that I used. So we can create custom classes as well that I showed you in the previous video, like how we can create custom CSS class in CSS file and how we can use that. So here it is predefined class. So now I hope whenever you use this class attribute in any of the elements, so you will recognize like this is either standard CSS or custom CSS. So right now it is standard CSS because it is pre-implemented with SLDS, Salesforce Lightning Design System. If you define any CSS class in the CSS file, then it will be known as custom CSS, right? Now here I am writing div and inside div I'm writing base lightning components, right? Now after that, I'm going to use lightning button so lightning button will be having a class. So SLDS hyphen P hyphen around underscore medium and uh, variant equals to brand and label equals to submit. So this way I created a lightning button. Now after this, I'm going to use one more element. So or you can say one more base lightning component. So its name is lightning badge. Its label is active, right? And after this, I'm going to use BR. So BR is for line break, right? So inside the same div, so this is the outer div, which is having class as SLDSM around underscore medium. So inside this, 
uh, I implemented one dev which is showing base lightning component and I just used two base lightning component like lightning button and lightning badge. Now I'm going to use one more div and uh, here this div will be having the message as base lightning components with custom styling, right? So after this div, I'm going to implement lightning button again. And this time I'm going to use a custom CSS class. So above you can see here I'm using SLDS-P around medium. So this is a standard class that I used. But here I will be using a custom class. So its name is my new style for button, right? And along with that, I'm using that predefined class as well. So this, this will let you know like how we can use both. So this is custom class and this is standard one. So I used both and both will work fine. So here I'm going to, okay. So one more thing like double quotes, you will be closing outside. So this is your custom class and this is SLDS P around medium uh, is a standard class, right? Then variant equals to brand and uh, label equals to submit, right? So this way, this lightning button is created, but here I applied this custom CSS as well. Now I need to apply a lightning badge. So what I'm going to do, I'm just copying it from here and I'm pasting it, right? And before this label, I just need to apply the class. So class name is my new style for badge. So here we have not applied any uh, predefined CSS. So it is having only custom CSS and this lighting badge is not having any CSS, right? So this way you can see it is having two partitions. This is uh, like base lighting components without custom styling and this is a base lightning components with custom styling right so this html file is completely implemented now i just need to implement the css file right so i am just clicking on this explorer and uh, you can see whenever we create any lightning web component so css file is not created so you can just right click on that lightning web component and click on new file and uh, you can write same name as your lightning web component. So using styling hooks dot CSS. So it will create a new CSS file. And here you will be defining your uh, custom CSS classes. So my new style for button. So this is first one. My new style for Baz. So this is another class. Now inside this, we need to implement the code. So if you want to customize your button or Baz, so you just need to write S, SDS, then hyphen C hyphen button, then hyphen brand color hyphen background. And let's say I'm using orange. Then again, hyphen STS, hyphen C, hyphen button, hyphen brand, hyphen color, hyphen border, orange. So this way, uh, with the help of this statement, we are trying to customize the styling of lightning base component, uh, sorry, base lightning component. Right. So these, these are like uh, predefined properties that we are modifying. So if you know these things, you can directly write them. If you don't know, you just need to identify like what we should uh, write here. And uh, accordingly, you can assign the value. Right. Now here we need to implement uh, it for badge as well. So for badge, we need to write SDS hyphen C hyphen badge then hyphen color hyphen background and then green 
then two times hyphen sts hyphen c hyphen badge hyphen text color white so this way like uh, the c is basically namespace then button and badge is uh, the name of the element then uh, here we are modifying the brand property here we are uh, modifying color and text directly right so uh, these are something uh, which are predefined that we are just uh, modifying with the help of these custom classes right so here i just uh, implement this code i just save this right so now uh, both html and css file is implemented so this component is ready to be placed on the page but before that we just need to modify the xml file so is exposed will be uh, true then targets here i need to set the target so target will be lightning home page now i just need to deploy this component from source to org so it is deployed successfully now i am going to edit my home page and i will be placing this component on the home page so that we can test it out so if you go to bottom so here you can see using style hooks component is available i am dragging and dropping it here clicking on save moving back and uh, here you can see the result so uh, first it is showing a uh, base lightning component so this is because of div then submit button and active badge so this is a button in blue and this is badge which is in white by default now if uh, suppose your client is having button uh, color as orange or badge color as uh, green they want uh, this because they want to match with their uh, existing styling so like uh, now you can see the difference here button color and badge background color is different right because uh, we implemented custom uh, styling here so this is basically known as slds styling hooks so if you use slds uh, that is pre-built uh, lightning ba uh, base lightning component uh, slds so uh, this way you can just modify it as per the uh, pre-built sorry as per the uh, pre-built uh, styling of your client so uh, this is all about like how you can style components uh, using uh, lightning design system styling hooks so i hope you understood um, this uh, concept so implement it in your system so that you can see the uh, uh, like how uh, both the changes are implementing thank you